Hi, I'm Joe James, and today we're going to create a temperature conversion program in Python. So I already saved this file uh, named tempconvert.py. I'm using Notepad++. So the first thing we're going to do is define a menu function, which will display a menu so that people can choose if they want to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit to Celsius or exit. Now instead of writing the entire program in one chunk and then trying to debug it, we're going to write it in small pieces, get small pieces working one at a time, and debug as we go. And it's going to make it a lot easier to debug the program. So the first thing we're going to do is just try and print this menu to the screen and then we'll add functionality from there. So the next thing we're going to do is define a main function and all we're going to do in main right now is call the menu function. So we'll stop there and test what we have so far. We should be able to just print the menu to the screen. Okay, that part works. We're able to display our menu to the screen. So let's jump back to our program. And now what we want to do is let the user enter a choice. And we want to return that from our menu function back to the main function. So let's say pick equals int input enter a choice return pick choice equals menu. It doesn't matter actually, but uh, we can use a different variable name for this. Choice equals menu. So this will call the menu function. The user, it will display the menu, the user will enter a choice, the menu function will return that choice and assign it to the variable called choice. And then what we're going to do is print choice, which we're going to convert to a string just to print. Now we'll go back and test that. Oh, we're missing a parenthesis here. So we'll go and test this. So let's try entering a choice. One, and you can see here that our one, we entered it and it prints it out. And then the program terminates. So now what we want to do, we'll take out this print statement and we're going to add a while loop so that we can repeatedly display the menu, get the user's choice, and then execute whatever conversion he picks. So we'll save that. And now what we have is when the user enters a choice, we check to see if that choice is 1. And if it is, we're going to add some code here to get the Celsius input and convert that to Fahrenheit and then print it. Else, if the choice is 2, we'll, con we'll get the user input of Fahrenheit degrees and convert that to Celsius and then print it. And else, we've already checked if the input was 3 here at the beginning of the while loop. We checked if it was 1 and we checked if it was 2. So if it reaches this else statement, 
then the user input something other than one, two, or three when we entered, when you offered the menu. So there's an invalid entry from the menu. So let's say he entered five on the menu. It's going to come down to this else statement, and it's going to say invalid entry, and then it's going to reprint the menu. So before we start writing this code for converting uh, for these the if and else if statement, we're going to jump up here and create two functions, one that will convert two Celsius when given a Fahrenheit value, and one that will convert two Fahrenheit when given a Celsius value. So we'll call this def two Celsius, and it's going to be given a value of degrees Fahrenheit. And all we need in this function is a simple return statement with a calculation. And then we'll define the two Fahrenheit function. And the two Fahrenheit function receives the Celsius degrees. And it's going to return a Fahrenheit value. So we'll click save real quick. So that's what we have so far. Now we'll add some code for the first choice, for the first if statement. So the user has entered choice one. He wants to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. So the first thing we need to do is get his input. And after that, we want to print the output. And that should do it. So now we're basically getting the input, we're converting it to an, a number, and then we're assigning that number to variable C, and then we're calling the two Fahrenheit function and sending it to variable C, the value C. Or the, whatever's returned is going to be the Fahrenheit value, which we return to, we change to a string and print it out. So let's test uh, choice one and see if that works. We have to add a, some kind of a dummy statement here to uh, close our elif statement. So we'll uh, we'll just add that, and now it runs. So let's try choice one. Enter degrees Celsius, and it converts it to 131. So this part works. Now we'll try three for exit. So now what we want to do is finish our second choice code. So we're going to say f is equal to whatever the user inputs. And then for our print statement, and that should do that. So now let's try running this again. Missing one parenthesis. We'll resave that. Try running. And we'll pick two. Enter degrees Fahrenheit. Let's say 212. Boom, it converts it to 100. Let's try one. Enter degrees Celsius. Uh, 88 converts to 190. Okay. So it seems to be working fine. Let's try a negative value. Okay, that seems to be working fine. So, let's exit. Now we're going to tidy up our output. Now, what we're doing right now is just printing the value. What we want to do is print a little explanation of what the value is. So, we'll print the input value and then an equal sign and then the output value. And we'll do the same thing down here. Now let's try running the program again. So 
So enter Celsius to Fahrenheit. Room temperature is about 22 degrees. And it comes back with 22C equals 71F. So you can see here that the format in the output is a little tidier. It actually tells you what it is. And let's try uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. 200 degrees. 200F equals 93C. So now we have a fully working Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit converter. So my suggestion is when you're writing a program like this, you break it into small pieces, get small chunks of it working part by part, rather than trying to write the entire program and then debug it all at once. It's going to be significantly easier debugging a small piece of code or a small function than it is to debug the entire thing in, in one sitting. So what we did here is we wrote the print menu just to print and display the menu on the screen first and then we added functionality to that. We let the user input a value and return that and then print it from the main method. And then we set up a while loop and we defined the two Celsius and two Fahrenheit functions. And then lastly we did the output formatting the way we wanted it. So it's going to be a lot easier to debug the code if you write and then test small chunks of it at a time. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.